Hello and a warm welcome. We find ourselves today in the western part of the great city of Sydney here at Stadium Australia. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is action from the round of 16 stage here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Haiti and they take on Sweden. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. And a look at the Haiti starting 11. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And so the match is underway. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. That's a very fine piece of tackling. And still looking for space. And there is courageous goalkeeping for you. But it's also good goalkeeping. She did so well to get down to the feet of the striker. Really good bit of play from her. A chance to whip it in. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Useful looking position, you've got to say. Surely, there it is, and just the ideal start. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent, one and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Jona Anderson. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Joseph. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Options in the centre. Yeah. 
jeudi. Can she put it away? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Elin Rubinson. Aslani. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Dumonet. Now can they make something happen? Great opportunity! Getting in there to intercept. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Ketna Louis. They've regained possession. Blackstenius. Tremendous ball played through. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Dumonet. Roselor Borgella. Nerilia Mondesia. Read it superbly to take back possession. This is looking threatening. Could be! And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight! Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. They have to take it away. Angeldahl. Rubinson. Now well, there to intercept. Now oh, the stoppage time. Now, can she put this one away? Brilliant, crisp and clean tackle. Can they survive? And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Delivered into the area here. Rolfe. Kosovari Aslani. Fridolina Rolfe. 
and Blackstenius has eyes for goal and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again Well, a short corner here. And she finds the back of the net. Right place, right time. And delivering for her team. Well, here it is again. What a good build-up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Borgella. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks, and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. So making the substitution now. Into the box it goes. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Angledahl. Stina Blackstenius. Jona Anderson. And Blackstenius. On the offensive. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Superb stop. And a fine tackle. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. Limage. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And nothing tight about that decision. Offside all the way. And they will make the change now. Aslani. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Philippa Angeldahl. Able to get a body in the way. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Could play it in. Ten minutes left for play. Oh, they get the ball once more. Bjorn. Determined defending. Ketna Louis shielding the ball superbly and offside it is there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes 
And now both sides will make personnel switches. Carolina Sega. Could pull one back here. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And it's gone behind for the corner. She made it far too straightforward for the keeper. Well, what a wasted opportunity that is. She has to do better there. And the referee blows for full time. Haiti have done it. A place in the last eight is theirs. Yeah, I thought it was a fairly comfortable win in the end. They played really attractive football at times, and there were some good individual performances. They'll certainly be happy going into the next round.